the reigning and defending WWE Champion destroyed his own title by saying this. This belt is just a toy. It's like a trinket on a Christmas tree, like an ornament. The belt that I want is the one that the great Muta has, the IWGP belt. Wow, I've never seen this clip, so I didn't even know Hulk Hogan even did this. What's good, y'all? It's Will Ross back at again with another video. So, we're going to check out 10 wrestlers who disrespected championships. Now, y'all see the thumbnail. Y'all see the thumbnail. Y'all see uh, the championships covering particular areas. You know, some would say that's not disrespect, that's bringing prestige to the championships. Others would say that is very disrespectful. It's all up to your personal preference. But we're going to check out some of these moments where uh, wrestlers uh, disrespected the championships or some that feel that they disrespected the championships. Should be an interesting video just off the thumbnail alone by uh, Tap Out Corner. <laughs> Appreciate all love and support. Link to the original video will be down below. Let's check out some of these supposed disrespectful moments. People say that since wrestling is fake, winning a championship doesn't mean anything. This is the completely wrong way of looking at it though. For sure. Winning a title shows that a company believes in a wrestler and trusts that person to represent them. Of wrestlers course. Wrestlers usually have to spend years training and competing before they win their first championship. And for some, they never win a single title in their entire career. This is That's so why it's insulting to see championships disrespected, like what Hulk Hogan did. In 1993, Hulk Hogan returned to WWE just in time for WrestleMania. The Hulks are then then allegedly uses influence backstage of to course. challenge the WWE Champion Yokozuna at the end of the show. Yep. In less than 30 seconds, the Hulkster beat Yoko uh -huh. and became a five-time WWE Champion. While you might disagree with Hulk Hogan using his authority to win the WWE title, you would at least expect him to be a valiant champion who would hold the title proudly, but that's not the case. Shortly after winning the WWE Championship, Hogan went to another wrestling company called New Japan Pro Wrestling. Mm. Then, during an interview, he said this. The WWF title is just a stepping stone. I want the I. WG built wow. in it. That was a little disrespectful, but then the reigning and defending WWE Champion destroyed his own title by saying this. This belt is just a toy. It's like a trinket on a Christmas tree, like an ornament. The belt that I want is the one that the great Muta has, the IWGP belt. Wow, I've never seen this clip, so I didn't even know Hulk Hogan even did this. I've never seen this clip before. So this is my first time seeing him bury the WWF championship at the time. And I'm still trying to figure out how he has that much backstage political pool when he's disrespecting your top title for another company's title. That's wild. You wouldn't think Rob Van Dam would ever disrespect a championship, but you would be wrong. In 2006, RVD defeated John Cena to win the WWE title. Just two days later, Van Dam was awarded the ECW championship as well, and then said this. This is the ECW World Championship, and I will wear it proudly. And look at this one. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, that ECW World Championship, I I thought that design was super cool when they introduced it. I ain't gonna lie to you. That design actually looked pretty tough. It spins. <laughs> Ironically, less than a year later, it would be the ECW Championship that would get disrespected and in a much worse way. After the famous Battle of the Billionaires yep, match at WrestleMania this. 23, Vince McMahon continued feuding with the ECW champion, Bobby Lashley. This mm -hmm. led to a three-on-one handicap match at Backlash 2007, where Lashley fought against Vince McMahon, Shane McMahon, and Umaga. Not only Rest were the odds Umaga, not in man. Lashley's favor, but his ECW World Championship was on the line too. In one of WWE's most infamous moments, Vince McMahon pinned Bobby yep. Lashley and won the ECW title. It's mm -hmm. bad enough seeing a non-wrestler win any- uh, it was... And then he just was on a, a, a rampage of stereotypes with the fucking do-rag. He was a menace. This this was the creation of Vince with the do-rag. Just a complete fucking menace, bro. A championship, but it was even more disrespectful considering it was the ECW title. Yeah. Men took years off their lives to win this championship. Uh -huh. And now here is Vince McMahon holding the title, do-rag and all. Imagine the glory that Vince felt watching that organization die and then reviving it in his own image, uh -huh. trying to erase all of our extreme memories and replace them with his vision. And now 
There he is, wearing the ECW Heavyweight Championship. A day of victory for Vince McMahon, and truly the, a day of loss. The fucking do-rag, bro. This was a real thing, y'all. He legit was wearing do-rags. Talking about, what up, my nigga? Oh, my God, bro. Uh. <laughs> for the spirit of the original ECW. What made it even worse was that McMahon was the one in charge and decided to put the title on himself. Self, yeah. While Hornswoggle and David Arquette did win championships too, they were just doing what they were told. Throwing salt into the wound, Vince McMahon held the ECW championship for five weeks before finally losing it. Not long after winning the WWE championship in 1996, Shawn Michaels would infamously pose for the adult magazine Playgirl. <laughs> Playgirl. It wouldn't be so bad, but the heartbreak kid decided <laughs> to use the WWE world title to cover up his showstopper. Perhaps <laughs> it was on brand for Michaels at the time, but it wasn't treating the WWE Championship it with wasn't, the prestige bro. and respect that the title deserved. <laughs> Since then, other wrestlers have recreated the Granted, for some... It's not disrespectful. Infamous <laughs> pose. While it was disrespectful, they at least didn't do it with... I know some of you guys love this one. <laughs> the World Championship. Now in this next clip, do you think the champion was in the right or the wrong? At WrestleMania 34, Roman Reigns challenged the Universal Champion, uh -huh. Brock Lesnar, in the main event. I know the what he's about to talk about. The first big issue was that fans had already watched 10 matches before Reigns and I Lesnar know locked exactly up. exactly what he's about to talk about. 13 if you count the three pre-show matches. If you know, you know. Because of this, the fans were tired and not excited to see a match they had already watched three years earlier. On top of that, this was at the height of fans' hate for Roman Reigns. Because of all this, the fans chanted boring and this is awful. The match went yeah. down as one of the worst WrestleMania main events of all time. For sure. And Brock was frustrated about that. After retaining the Universal Championship, Lesnar went backstage and did this. Look at the rage on the face. In the Whoop. Threw it right at him, bro. Yes. If you didn't see it, Brock Lesnar threw his championship at his boss, Vince McMahon. Yep. WWE's Women's Championship. <laughs> Only Brock can get away with it. He legitimately didn't give a fuck about the title, bro. He just... Get the shit, I'm out. Pay me, I'm good. That's literally what it was. And I'm like, bro, that's fucking wild. Has probably been the most disrespected title in wrestling history. One such incident was when of a man course. won the title. In 2000, wrestling manager Harvey Whippleben called himself Harvina and fought the women's champion, The Cat, in a Lumberjill Snow Bunny match. Whippleben became the only man in WWE history to win a women's championship. Thankfully, Harvey Whippleman's title reign was short-lived when he was defeated by Jacqueline. WWE would sort of recreate this moment nine years later yep. when Santina Morella, under the name Santina Morella, won the Miss WrestleMania so much Battle Royale. However, this isn't the only time a WWE women's title has been treated like trash. In 1993, a woman named Alundra Blaze uh -huh. debuted in WWE and quickly became the top star of the women's division. However, due to financial difficulties, Alundra was fired from WWE about two years after she joined. It was so abrupt that Blaze was still holding the women's championship yep. when she got released from her contract. WWE's competitor, WCW, saw an opportunity and signed Alundra Blaze to their roster. She made a surprise appearance with the women's championship on WCW's flagship show Nitro yep. and did this. This is the WWF Women's Championship Whoa. belt. That indeed it is. is. And that's what I think of the WWF Women's Championship belt. This stunt caused Alundra Blaze to get banned from WWE for almost 20 years. Uh -huh. That might seem harsh, but Alundra honestly kind of deserved it. Before she got signed by WWE, Blaze was living in her car and owed $80,000 to the IRS. Oh. When the WWE owner, Vince McMahon, signed Alundra Blaze, he asked if there's anything he could do for her. Alundra jokingly asked him to pay off her debt. McMahon actually did it and oh. sent Blaze a check for $80,000. Then, when Vince's company is already facing financial difficulties, this is how Alundra Blaze repays him. Now I will- Oh, damn. I mean, that's crazy. And then he did send 80,000, like, here you go. And it's just, and I think that's kind of where they, how even the Montreal screw job kind of played into Vince's psyche because he didn't want that to ever happen again. Because uh, Brett was going to go to WCW and they agreed for him to win that night and then drop it on Monday night or whatever. That's what they agreed on. But I guess he felt like, you know, he he didn't feel like, I guess he didn't trust him. I don't know why, you know what I'm saying? But he felt some type of way about it and went behind his back. And that's how the Montreal screw job end up happening because he didn't trust him you know, taking a title to a whole nother company. He was like, nah, I'm never going to let this happen again. Granted, I don't think Brett would have 
I think Brett was a man of his words. So I don't think he would have did him like that. But, you know, that that's the catalyst to why Vince is the way he is when it comes to, oh, I'm about to leave. You're not about to be champion, yada, yada, yada type situation. But Matt, this next one is a bit funny, but still disrespectful. At Money in the Bank 2011, WWE Classic. Champion John Cena Love defended the title against CM Punk. Fans were really hyped to see this match, and Punk and Cena delivered. The fight ended with Punk winning the world title in front of his hometown crowd. Since he was in Chicago, the new WWE Champion decided to go back to his house, where he put the championship yep. in his refrigerator. <laughs> How do you know it's CM Punk's fridge? There's Pepsi on the bottom shelf. <laughs> now this was pretty ballsy. In 1994, the National Wrestling Alliance, NWA, held a tournament to crown a new champion. The NWA Championship was, and still is, one of the most prestigious titles in wrestling history, so this was a big deal. A company called Eastern Championship Wrestling offered to host the tournament, and the NWA agreed which was a big mistake. In the final round, MCW. former WWE wrestler Shane Douglas won the match and the NWA Championship and was giving a heartfelt speech until... From the Harley races to the very windows through the Ric Flair's and they can all kiss my ass because Whoa. I am not the man who accepts a torch to be handed down to me from an organization that died R.I.P. seven years ago. Not only did Damn. Douglas trash the NWA Championship, but the entire NWA brand as well. Damn. Eastern Championship Wrestling parted ways from the NWA and became the ECW we all know and love. Wow. In March 2017, Paige was the victim of a hack that caused private photos and videos to be shared online. One of the most infamous images was that of Paige and former Raw General Manager Brad Maddox. Yep. To make matters worse, the images show the two doing the nasty on top of the NXT Women's Championship, <laughs> a title Paige held from 2013 to 2014. Team. That was already disgraceful, but it caused more outrage due to Paige taking pictures of children holding the championship. Oh, Shortly after, <laughs> WWE nah, I, I remember that. You took a picture with my child while you was doing nasty things with that belt. You heathen. <laughs> they'd be unveiling redesigned NXT championships, which included the women's title. It's unknown if this is in response to the leaked images Sheesh. or not. Female wrestlers have sometimes gotten inappropriately touched by yeah. fans. To see that, watch this video. Man, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. Imagine you getting it on with said belt and then you go to like some convention and take pictures with children with said belt you got it on with. Because they actually take the belt home. Like it's not like no different belt or whatever. They usually whatever the belt is they take that motherfucker home type shit um so <laughs> that's it's fucking interesting man but comment down below let me know some other times you felt like uh wrestlers disrespected the championships or uh different championship belts man but i appreciate all the love and support you guys on channel road to 150k and i'm still getting the speed of youtube wrestling champion world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace